After rook a b1, you can uh, choose the one you love more, queen b6, rook fc8 idea, or bishop e5, e6 idea. And just remember few things that after queen b6, white cannot play a3 with idea b before because we take knight b3. Uh, knight b3, uh, and uh, if bishop b6, we take knight d2, we are pawn up, and also next move we win one of opponent rooks, so uh, we, we are winning. And after knight b3, queen d3, remember queen e3 move. A nice tactic, and after queen e3, bishop d4, and we win uh, opponent uh, queen back, and after queen d4, knight d4, we are just pawn up, and we crush the opponent pawn structure, opponent has a c4 weak pawn, so we have a winning position. Uh, after queen d3, also, if you forget queen e3 move, bishop d4 is also working. Bishop d4, if bishop d4, we take queen d4 with check, and if rook b3, we take bishop e3 with check, and then uh, next move we play some queen uh, d4 or even queen c5. So h3 move is impossible, we take knight b3, and after rook a b1, queen b6, where I should play rook fc1. We play again rook fc8, now h3 move again is impossible, we take knight b3, same thing, if queen d3, it's uh, absolutely the same, we take queen e3 with same ideas. And after knight b3, if I take bishop b6, knight d2, and rook b2, uh, trapping our knight on d2, it's fine for us, because we take knight c4, bishop c4, bishop d7. And because of these two pins, we win material back. This everything uh, was in the uh, course Maruti binds, so that's why I'm just going fast, it's just a reminder for you. If you forget all this stuff, just go back and uh, check that again. After rook fc1 or rook fc8, so rook c2 white is playing, and here we play queen d8. And next move, h5, king h7, and queen f8, bishop a6, or queen h8. Uh, remember the beautiful game, uh, Lenny Kluka, Lekwanglem. This is uh, covered in the first uh, course of uh, Mao Zedong.